they, they've, they've, they've run the ball well. Uh, Moss has done a nice job, and if Jonathan Taylor's out there, we're, we're going to have to be very aware of him and his speed and his ability. And what has been your message to the guys heading into this matchup against the Colts? Well, I think that it's, it's um, you know, I thought we took a step last week and who we want to be in our, in our style. I think we need to, you know, validate that and, and go on the road and, you know, do the things that we did last week that help us win and not some of the stuff that we saw on, on the road previously. Mike, uh, Dick, Dick Butt has passed away yesterday. Uh, as a linebacker, one of the, he was one of the greatest linebackers of all time, important football person. Just uh, what did he mean to you personally, and do you have any memories with him? Or, or, or? Well, I mean, just the violence in which he played uh, the game. You know, certainly uh, you know, played in a different era. Uh, just never had the opportunity really to, to hang out with him, but just the violence and, and watching what he did at the, at the position. What maybe some of the guys do that, that got back to practice this week after being out a while? I guess Nick, Peter, and Kyle. How they make it through the week? Um, I thought they made it through the week good. I thought they, uh, you know, all, all got some work in, and you know, see how they respond here in the morning. And Peter, you know, is on track to play, and we'll see where Nick and Kyle end up. Does the film do a pretty good job of telling you about, especially a guy you haven't really seen about his speed or have there been situations as a player or as a coach where well, sometimes you, you got to feel it. Yeah. Surprised. Sometimes you got to feel it. You know, you, you have to feel it to, to see it and believe it. Um, that's probably a fair assessment. The, the, the film, um, you know, may or may not look as fast as, as what a guy is. And then you get out there and you're like, okay, that's, uh, that's a little different. Coach, I'm curious, what do you think of the Eagles, their short yardage play, the, the one they call the, the tush push? Yeah, well, if, if the Colts run it, we'll have to be ready for it. They've, they've tried it once this year. But as part of the, the competition committee, I was trying to get your perspective. Uh, I mean, spoke on it in the offseason. What kind of a challenge does Pittman present? Just have you seen him big, develop as a receiver? Big, uh, physical, can, can run all the different routes. He, he's a good blocker, a lot of respect for him. Has always you know, played well against us, and you know whether they, they put him at the point of attack or he's running crossing routes. You know the, the, the one thing that I like about him is his savviness, and when they do run these uh, rub routes offensively, as they call them, is he's not making contact, but he's going in there and he's he's affecting the play and he's he's getting out of the way and, and avoiding the contact. So he kind of knows how to the design of the play. Uh, looks like he's an instinctive player. What yes. makes Franklin so effective uh, at the linebacker position? I mean, he plays fast, he plays violent, tries to knock out of the guy with the ball. It's good for linebackers. You talked, uh, I guess, uh, after the game just about a lot of guys getting to play for the first time. One of those guys was shot quarter, who kind of obviously paid his dues since he came in the league. How cool was that to see him? Well, there, there, are, there are no dues. You know what I mean? There are no dues. You know what I mean? But, it, but what it is is... There's a lot of different paths into the NFL, right? Whether that's a drafted guy, or that's undrafted, four or five different teams. You know, Shai's come in here since we've got him and been outstanding on the, on the show teams, developmental and worked and been on the practice squad and prepared as a starter. And uh, you rarely have to coach him twice. You know, he rarely makes the same mistake twice. And, it's a great opportunity for him last week. When you said there are no dues, was, was it like that when you played, or did you feel like there there were dues when you? Oh, started? I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't know what that means. Like, you just wherever you drafted, like wherever you do, however you get here, you're gonna have to put as much work in that's required for you to earn a role uh, and a spot on the team. So, if I guess that's dues, then that's dues. But I know you can't pay your way on. Uh, to this league. How's Colton's learning curve been for you in, in the small sample Good. size? You know, I thought, you know, he was probably better on special teams uh, last week than I than I probably would have anticipated. I thought he was competitive. I thought he did a nice job in the stuff that we asked him to do. Um, you know, continue to progress offensively and seeing those things and seeing how the, the look changes uh, after the snap and some of those things. But you know, I thought he took a step uh, in, in helping us at, on the special teams and being a you know, a good sized receiver that, that can play on some of those special teams. We haven't gotten to see, obviously, because we don't see practice, Will in, in a while. What is his, uh, what's his development been like as he's, uh, you know, going through his rookie year? 
So I guess the, I, I'm aware that you guys don't get to see practice, so I need that that information. I, I'm, I'm aware that you guys aren't sure. there. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's hard, you know. I mean, we try to we try to get these guys to throw some live, full speed throws. Um, I think that it's been good. Uh, I think that the drill work has been good. I think the interactions in the meetings have been good. Um, but it, it's just hard with the number of guys that we have and uh, the, the amount of full speed reps that we have during the week. Um, it, it, it's just hard. And, and, I'm, and I'm trying to find a way to develop young quarterbacks. We all are. Me, Timmy, Charles, Pat, everybody. And so we're trying to get them throws um, on Mondays, we're trying to get these guys live throws on Mondays with guys that don't play in a game or practice squad guys because I'm very aware that you know, they've got a, they've got a throw. They've got to have timing and and all those different things. So I think I think that they're they're both progressing well, um, but it is it is hard uh, during the season. Is there ever a conceivable scenario that Will could jump sure, there's a, there's to a lot two of conceivable, out of what he does? There's a lot of conceivable uh, scenarios. There there are from now until February. There's a million conceivable scenarios. Look like uh, just in the in this time that we see that, that Nick was getting a little bit of time on the left side. You pretty comfortable that, that he could jump Again, in? another yeah. reference to the amount of time that you guys get to see. <laughs> um, it's a campaign. It's, it's, it's not going that well. Uh, it's, it, 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 he certainly has to know both sides. And I want to make sure that, um, that, that we're, we're finding ways to, to get the best five out there, who we think can give us the best chance to win. That, that's all we want to try to do. Um, and so He's worked at left, he has worked at right. Dylan's worked at both spots inside. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, I feel good every day. No better than last week. No, I feel good. It's all mental. It's all mental. Yeah, absolutely. You got to know how to manage. You got to know how to maneuver. I went almost eight years without missing a game. So uh, I was definitely hurt during those eight years, you know, in some games. Uh, so you just got to know how to manage. How much you hope you've had a sudden example for God that's not going to follow a guy that's done it for a while and, as you said, you manage certain things? Uh, you know, I'm here to, to not just, you know, better myself uh, and learn the game of football. I still feel like I got a lot to, to learn. Uh, but, you know, also things that I have learned, it's all for the giving. And, uh, you know, anytime anybody asks me anything, I'm there to answer. Um, and just, you know, doing doing certain things during practice, you know, guys ask me why I do it, uh, you know, and I tell them. So, you know, I, I never want to be, be a guy that keeps anything in, but we'll be here to, to give any uh, advice or, you know, encouragement I can. <laughs> your number up on, on a deep ball, a couple of deep balls Sunday against Cincinnati. Uh, I love it whenever my number is dialed up. Deep short ball, uh, you know, I'm just here, you know, to be reliable. Uh, if it's blocking, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I don't I don't really worry about the numbers. Uh, so, you know, however my numbers down, you know, i You guys don't necessarily have the fastest receiver room. You think you have some guys who are deceptively fast? Trailing can has some really good build-up speed. I know the miles per hour he's hit. And Chris has obviously shown some, some excellent speed with the defense. Yeah, the, the I mean, my favorite Hall of Fame receivers, I don't know none that ran a 4-4. Uh, Megatron might be the only one. Uh, Jay Rice, Chris Carter, this goes on. Uh, you know, Randy Moss is a rare breed, but, you know, uh, football speed, man. So to answer your question, repeat your question, you know, because I know you'll sound bite me. Uh, your question was, we don't have the fastest wide receiver groups. But do you have guys that maybe have, have – Deceptive speed. Uh, we have guys that know how to make plays and get open. And that's what we do in our numbers card. Stat, I think you're one of the top third down guys for first downs in the league. How much pride do you take? Uh, just being on the same page with Ryan. Uh, obviously, that's that's the most important part of uh, you know capitalizing on third down. I got to know where he wants me. Uh, I got to know what defensive coverage it is. That's uh, one of the more crucial downs in, in football. So uh, I've been doing it for a long time, and, you know, I'm happy to have a guy like RT who knows football as well. 
a little fun with Derek yesterday, just about the jersey swaps he does after the game. Is that something you do? And maybe if so, who are some of the best ones you've selected over the years? Um, of course, got everybody loves him doing a jersey swap, but I, I hear there's a shortage on jersey, so uh, kind of you know sucks for us that we have to pay a little more. But some of the better ones, man. Uh, all my Clemson guys, my Clemson guys, um, receivers, obviously. I uh, shoot, man, I was I was young, you know. I used to wish I could get some of the older guys' jerseys, but you know. Uh, Tom Brady sent me one when he played in Tampa Bay his first year there. And we didn't play those guys, but he sent me a jersey. Uh, so I wouldn't say that was a jersey swap, but uh, I think that was just a mutual respect kind of thing. So that's, that's probably my favorite one. What you with that? Uh, I still have it. It's, uh, it's framed, actually.